All right, so what today's topic is going to be is we're going to be looking at uh, Adam for the beginning making of Adam. And uh, basically it's 1 Corinthians 15, 45, which says out of the Amplified, it says, So it is written in the scriptures, the first man, Adam, became a living soul, an individual. And the last man, Adam, Christ, became a living spirit, restoring the dead to life. So we're, again, we're going to be looking, first of all, I'm going to be looking at Adam. We're going to tear Adam, all his little, little parts of making of creation and all this apart. Then I'm going to, we're going to skip ahead. We're going to look to Jesus and we're going to play rewind. We're going to jump ahead to Jesus and we're going to rewind to see how he has fulfilled everything to do with Adam. Amen. Okay, so that's the basic gist of it. Wow. And how this basically came about, I will give the credit where credit is due. I was reading uh, Robin Bullock's book, God is Absolutely Good. And it was interesting because I came to page 37 in here and in it talks, I'm going to do a little summary of it, but um, it talks about in the Hebrew value, um, Yahweh, which is God Almighty, like the, it's, it's God, he's number 26. And then it says how Adam, his number is 45. And Eve, her number is 19. Okay, so you got 26, which is Yahweh. You got 45, which is Adam. And then 19, which is Eve, which we're going to get to in just a minute. So when I was reading this book, the Lord made me go back and reread this, this chunk of this paragraph. And I'm like, really? Like, this does not seem very entertaining to me, these numbers, you know? <laughs> and he's like, go read it again. Go read it again. And have me like read it like three, four times. And I'm like, I don't see what you're trying to get into my spirit, but okay. So let me begin to explain some things to you. As I began to read and digest what he was saying, so in the beginning, God created the earth, right? <laughs> and uh, when God came and he wanted to make man in his image and in his likeness, you know, he's like, gosh, I want to make mankind in my image and in my likeness. So what did he do? He went down and out of the dust of the ground. Now, whether he went six feet under and made a mold of himself or whatever and then brought him up, I don't know. But out of the dust of the ground, he pulls up man. He pulls up Adam. And with that, he breathes. Remember, he would, he breathed life into Adam and Adam became a living being. And God called him Adam. Well, in the book of Genesis, you'll read how God had created the animals and, and he bright, brings them before Adam. And I'm doing obviously a summary of Genesis and I encourage you all to go back and read the book of Genesis. And he brings these animals to Adam and he's like, listen, here you go. And he's like, you know, he found out that Adam was alone. He was all alone, alone. He had no helpmate. You know, here are these other living creatures had male and female. Mm -hmm. You know, there was male and female elephants. There was male and female everything. But yet for Adam, there wasn't anything. He was all alone. He was all one. So what did God do? He puts Adam into a sleep. And he, he has Adam sleep. And out of his rib, out of his side, he pulls out the womb of woman and makes woman because it says that out of his side he pulls out the womb and he makes woman it's man with womb because Adam was all one he was male and female he was all one and what did God do he says in Genesis 5 2 it says, God, male and female created them, meaning God, and blessed them and called them their name Adam in the day that they were created. So God calls male and female Adam. Adam is number 45. Keep that in mind. I'm going to keep on trying to bring that to the forefront. So he creates male and female. They're both named Adam. Mm -hmm. So what happens then? We know about the time in the garden, God says, don't eat of this tree. 
the day you eat of it, you'll, you'll die. And, you know, and then Satan comes along, he deceives the female. I'm going to say it very purposefully. He deceives the female that was there in the garden. She gives it to her husband. He partakes and they all get cursed. So after that, then in Genesis 3.20, we can go ahead and turn to 3.20. Now remember, in Genesis 5.2, and I know it sounds backwards because you're like, oh, you started in Genesis 5.2 where God called male and female Adam. And you have to see it in the King James, by the way, because the other translations will say mankind. But the King James, the authorized King James says Adam. He called them male and female, both Adam. But then back up to Genesis 3, 20. Now this is, they've been cursed in Genesis 3 because they partook of the, the, the tree of good of evil that they weren't supposed to partake of. They were naked. Um, and, and God says, you know, all the different things that, that have happened now. And then in verse Genesis 3, 20, and Adam called his wife's name Eve because she is the mother of all living things. So he changed her name from Adam to Eve. Adam is number 45. Eve is number 19. You take 19 away from 45, you get 26. He took the Yahweh out of her. He took out of Eve, out of Adam, female Adam, the 26, and just made her the mother of living things. Okay? They were equal. They were both male and female. They were both Adam. Mm -hmm. Now, the curse, she is going to be submissive to her husband. She's going to come from 45 down to 19. The Yahweh portion is taken out. She's the mother of all living things. Okay, so let's hold tight with that for just a moment because this is, that is where the curse began. Right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fast forward to Jesus. And with Jesus, here he is. He's on the cross. And what happens? They, he's, he's dead. And they wanted to make sure he's dead, but they pierce his side, okay? Now, again, we are pushing the rewind button with Adam. Who came out of Adam? Eve came out of Adam through his ribs. Jesus gets pierced into the side, and out of his side comes blood and water. Right. Life. <sighs> the very breath that God breathed in with Adam. The life, the Holy Spirit comes out, waters the earth again, and goes back down. Jesus goes down into the depths of the earth. Adam being created into the depths of the earth. And when he's risen up again, Jesus comes to the disciples. And what is he doing? He comes to them in John 20. And he says, receive ye now the Holy Spirit. And he breathes on them. Receive ye now the 26 that was taken from you. Receive God back into your life. Because that's what Jesus is doing. He's making us back to 45, back to mankind, the original intent of what God wanted. Adam, 45. Not only the mother of living things, but now add the Yahweh, the 26, back in. We are now reunited with the Holy Spirit from what Jesus has done. That's why in Acts 1, he said, don't even go out and witness without the Holy Spirit. Because you're doing it in your own might and in your own flesh. We are now, God says he creates us equal again, male and female. Yeah. He creates us together. We're on equal ground now. Mm -hmm. Jesus restored what the last Adam lost. So, well, let's go ahead and close <laughs> it out today. Amen. <laughs> so, yes. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time of gathering. I thank you that you are the Lord and Savior of our life, that yes, you have Lord. redeemed us back yes. from, you know, just At being uh, the, the mother of living things to putting the Yahweh back into us, putting the 26 back into thank us, you, the Holy Spirit so that we are now one again with you, Lord. 
And Lord, we just call forth that to blessing to be upon the people. Yes, so if Lord, you yes. have not experienced a touch of the Holy Spirit, let's just do a quick prayer real fast. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, yes. I make you my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, yes. I welcome you into my heart and into my life. Yes. Teach me. Yes. You know, guide me and direct me yes manifest yourself in and through yes. me in jesus, jesus name, name amen i'm tina jackson and thank you so much for joining today if you like today's video be sure to like subscribe and share for the full length version click on the link to the side and don't forget that you are a beautiful creation in christ jesus